Hi Aquarius, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, what is the overall energy for Aquarius? You need to be aware, it says look beyond what you see. Number three, that means your third eye is activated. You're knowing things, you're picking up things. Your intuition is very strong right now. So this could be like picking up someone is lying. This could be seeing a new opportunity that others don't see. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, listen to your intuition. Wow. It's pretty powerful, actually. If you think about it, you have like, it's like x-ray vision or you can see things, other people, you know things right now. So, all right. So maybe someone around you is lying or, let's see what's going on for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Universe. Page of Swords. Spying. Seeing something. Ace of Cups. Could be how somebody's feeling for you. Three of Wands and a hidden. Yep, High Priestess. Look, you have intuition. Both, both of these decks. So something important is going on around you. All right. Could be how someone feels about you. With the Ace of Cups being in your energy or how they view the situation. Page of Swords. Wanting to move forward. Now, this is in the hidden position, which is interesting. It is the tower. So that doesn't mean it's your tower. It means it could be happening to somebody else. Something big is happening. You may need to listen to your intuition about what to do next in the situation. This person could be coming to see you or talk to you. Uh, they may be wanting to reach out to you at this time. Oh, I feel like they're in love with you, but they can't tell you. The, okay, the cards are giving me a show my authority merit. does not mean that. It just means that, that is what tells me that they're stuck. And they could be stuck at a job. They could be stuck in another country. There could, there's, could be a reason why they're not telling you. So I think that's why they're saying, listen to your intuition. There's feelings here. You're aware of this person, how they feel towards you. However, right now, it looks like they may not be coming forward and telling you. Or if they get close... It's like they still, what is Eight of Swords? It's like they're not taking action. They don't want to see. They're not doing something. The lovers. This person, okay, this person might, I get the word distraction. So I feel like you distract this person quite a bit. But they, they may kind of like not want to look at you when you're around. They get kind of nervous. They may look down. They may look away from you. You might make them kind of, because I got like this here and this here. And then I just got this, all this energy of not wanting to make eye contact, being nervous, not really showing how they really feel, something like that. So you might be reading a person wrong. You may think that it's one thing, like they don't like you or, you know, there's something kind of awkward going on here. But it could be that they actually really do like you. So that may be what you need to be aware of. You need to listen to your intuition. But I'm getting energy here where they're not taking action. But I'm getting like something has happened weird. So you had a weird dream about this person. You had a weird vision or something. Or you like you heard their voice in your head or something weird. It's kind of what I'm picking up here. Um, what is this Tower Page of Wands? What is this sudden like? Something's going to change. I feel like this person was coming towards you. And then it just stopped. Like you thought this person was going to make a move. And then they didn't. Eight of Swords is there. It tells me that the Temperance card turning a cold shoulder. It's almost like they went back to an ex or they went back to something. Someone else had an issue. Like just for a moment, let's just say they have an ex. Their ex had a, like a major meltdown, a problem. They had to go back. They don't want to be with that person, but they feel like they're obligated, like they have to. That could be what I'm seeing here. Now, again, they don't have to have an ex. They don't have to be married. It could be something completely different. It could be like a that it would take care of their mom or they had to, you know, some maybe someone passed or had a family reunion or something. It's kind of like you were expecting something to happen and it was on track. It was moving forward and then boom, it shifted gears. And then all of a sudden it's like just kind of stopped. It could be a Gemini or a Sagittarius involved or a Capricorn or Pisces. Also Scorpios here. I'm sure there's other signs as well. But um, what is this? Those are the main ones showing up here. The strongest energy. What is this lover's energy? Three of Cups. It's like you had a really good connection with this person. I mean, you still do. It's been put on hold. This has been put on hold. So they could have, again, again had to go back to take care of a family member or 
a housing situation. What is this Ten of Cups? What is this Ten of Cups? Deception. Six of Wands. See, now that energy right there tells me like there could be someone else who's involved. Someone else who maybe knows about you. Someone who does not want the two of you involved. So maybe they even planned this. I'm getting a surprise birthday party. Someone may have to go to a per birthday party for one of their children. The Seven of Swords and Six of Wands tells me that somebody knows they got away with something. So, <clears throat> again... Um, someone who doesn't want to see the two of you together, possibly something like that. So the outcome is telling me not to stress over this, to read between the lines, to not think like, okay, this is not going to happen. Obviously something stopped it abruptly. Could be that you're also, I don't get, I don't see the card being blocked by somebody else. Like let's say someone picked up their phone, they saw the messages from you, so they blocked you and this person doesn't know that happened. I don't really see those cards, but could that, could that have been happening somewhere? Yes. Yeah, sometimes Eight of Swords shows me that. Usually it's like the seven of wands. What is this temperance? What is this temperance energy? Manifesting. Okay. Two of cups. Manifesting love. Communication. Nine of cups. There will be communication from you. Ace of wands is interesting because I kind of feel like you could reach out to this person. If not, this person will be reaching out to you. There could be an apology with the page of coin. And so you, so it's kind of like, again, this is not ended. It's not over. Read between the lines. There's something else that has popped up. Don't get stressed out over the situation. Was this four swords? The wheel will turn and you will have justice. Okay. So let's say again, someone blocked you and you didn't realize it. You'll get unblocked. That will, they will find out. Somebody is, you know, exhibiting bad behavior here at the Seven of Swords. And um, I get they'll be found out. So don't worry about that. It's kind of what I'm picking up overall. One more for the Seven of Swords, Six of Wands. One more for the Seven of Swords, Six of Wands. It could be an earth sign you're dealing with. Wondering what happened. Yep. See? They're wondering what happened. So maybe if you guys were communicating uh, and someone blocked you, they're going to, they're going to, find this out. Under the deck is the five of wands. So you were blocked. You were blocked by someone. Someone probably saw that message you communicating and boom, jumped in there. So I'm getting, again, maybe this has already happened months ago. It feels like it's pretty fresh, but no, they will be aware. They'll listen to their intuition. They have a shady person around them that is blocking you. That will be discovered or found out. So I would not stress too much. All right. What is going on here? What do you need to know? What do you need to know? Because you guys are meant to be. So again, it says things are changing. So you guys are meant to be. So things will change. Don't worry about this as much if it's bothering you, especially over the weekend. I get like this is your message over the weekend. Maybe you're hoping they would have reached out and they're not. Um, if, if Also, let me say this. If they're with their ex over the weekend because of a kid, like a child's birthday party or something, don't get into your head and imagine things or anything like that. If they don't reach out, that's why. It has nothing to do with you. It's it's the X. Okay, one more please from this deck. Someone is at a crossroads about a situation, a relationship. This could be you. Maybe you're thinking you don't know what to do anymore. Maybe you're not sure if this is, you know. But again, listen to your intuition. Read between the lines. Be aware that there's other things going on. You will get a text message. Look how happy she is. You will get a message. By the end of the weekend, Monday, something um, this person is strongly attracted to you. The ex just wants to win this one time. So don't worry. Don't let it stress you. Let me see one card of advice from Spirit. And let me see what this person might also say to you. Clam it says, open up. It's okay to feel vulnerable. All right. What would this person want to say to you? What would they say to Aquarius? What would they say to Aquarius at this time? I can be myself when I'm around you. I don't want to let you go. I miss being with you and so many things remind me of you. So I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. Have a great week.